Today we're going to talk about how you actually might diagnose whether you have a bad head gasket or not. Um, there's, there's a few things that you can actually look for. Um, one of them is actually um, fuel consumption. If you have too much fuel consumption, that could be a sign of a bad head gasket, although it could be a half a dozen other things as well. But um, it, it, you can kind of start there. Um, if, if you're losing water, or actually, if you're losing coolant, you might actually have a bad head gasket or you might have a bad hose or something that's that's something to look for if if it's getting uh, excessively hot when you're trying to drive it that's something else that you could look for um, uh, if there's any kind of ticking or light knocking in the engine um, that's a possible sign of as before half a dozen things but it is a good sign that there could possibly be a bad head gasket um, uh, the, one, of, one of the ways you can also tell is if you're getting excessive smoke from your tailpipe from your exhaust if you have a lot of like really white cloud looking smoke that, that could possibly be a head gasket. The water could be getting down in the cylinders and as it burns that water off it creates a white cloud of smoke. Um, also, if you happen to notice excessive moisture buildup in your tailpipe, uh, if you happen to look down and there's like excessive amounts of uh, liquid or water in your tailpipe that's that's a way you can actually at least start investigating why is there excessive there is usually some moisture you know and there's some unburned fuel sometimes uh, depending on the weather conditions and stuff but actually there's there's a lot of different things that could be happening with that but these are just some general things to kind of look for um, what, one way to maybe find out if you've got a bad head gasket or not or or it might even be bad rings if you do a compression check and the compression seems a little low that's a possible diagnose, way to diagnose it um, so you know there's there's lots of different things that you can look for to actually look and see if maybe you have a bad head gasket or not without having to take the engine apart to to be able to diagnose it uh, those are actually some of the uh, main things that you look for whenever you've got a bad head gasket um, like I say the uh, the cloud of smoke will generally be white and really poofy like a big fluffy cloud usually um, but that doesn't absolutely mean that that's what's going on um, but all these things together you know they you know and um, there's some other stuff you can kind of look for too for a diagnosing whether you actually have a bad head gasket or not which and I'm going to show you one of those you get that nasty milky looking oil that right there tells you that there's water getting in your in, into your cylinders and you've more than likely got a bad head gasket but um, with all the other things that I mentioned if you you know especially with the lack of power um, you know you could have a bad injector sure but um, if you've got a lack of power and you've got all these other things uh, you might want to check your oil and if you see anything that looks like that I'd say your head gasket is gone so um, them are just some of the main ways to actually diagnose it and things to look for I mean there's other little telltale signs as well but as a general rule uh, those are the main things that you want to kind of look for um, you know and if you're getting a misfire you could possibly have a bad coil pack you could have bad plug wires a bad plug 
Um, you know, there, there's all kinds of things that could be causing all of this stuff, but most of the time, if you put them all together and then you check your oil, you've got a bad head gasket. I hope that helps you out, um, maybe diagnosing if you've got a bad head gasket or not. Um, those are some of the general things to look for. Um, there might actually be a few other things, but those are like really the main things that if, if you've got all those things that are coming together and you check your oil and it looks nasty like that dipstick, you've probably got a bad head gasket. Well, um, that's going to be all for this video. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comment section and um, I'll be more than glad to answer them without any well without too much of uh lag time as it were um uh i appreciate you guys all my subscribers and everybody else that watches my videos i really appreciate that um uh i hope this the you guys really get something out of my videos i try to put informative things on and i i try not to get uh, I try not to get it wrong um, uh, so I uh, appreciate you guys for watching thank you very much and have a spectacular day